What do you think Jade's sketchbook would look like? I'm gonna rip this whole sketchbook apart. Sketchbook tour. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is a thick sketchbook. Look at this bad boy. 100 sheets. However, I ripped some out, so... I'm covering my personal information. This sketchbook was started in May 2019 and ended in May 2023. 13 to 18 years old. So as we can see here, very old art style, but halfway through this sketchbook, there's going to be my newer art because I started this, didn't like the sketchbook, put it away for a few years, and then came back. So it's going to be a mix of old art and new art. And they might be a little out of order because um, you'll, you'll just find out. You might recognize this character because this used to be my old internet persona. Which is weird because I don't know what's going on here. What, cr what creature is this? Oh my, the pages are full. This is why I try not- I don't like spiral sketchbooks because the pages fall out. Here we've got an old hand, old drawing, and then I went back and I did a new hand and a new drawing. So that's kind of side by side of the old art and the new art. So here we have an unfinished sketch of my old OC glitch. I used to write re all the time and I think it's cringy now so I went back and I wrote no. Then we just have some figure studies. This is newer. I used to have a Wings of Fire phase. So there's a dragon. It's a rain wing with purple hair. I guess I should have flipped it. Here we have Glitch and Jolteon. Look at her being all shy. And her weird lore that I, I don't even know what was going on with her lore. And then this one's newer, but we have just some realistic face studies really like that one we just have some sketches and a little comic thing i guess i'm not gonna read that out loud but you can read that um my old oc indigo that's i think that's supposed to be her wedding ring but that's on the wrong hand i don't know how to explain this it's newer doodles I'm gonna rip this whole sketchbook apart. More old art. What is this color composition? I remember this was some person named Quiddle Draws character that I drew a long time ago. Is there a better way I can go about this? This is newer and Among Us. Some realistic studies. That is a self-portrait. An old Eevee Pokemon. Keep in mind I did use some references for these drawings. Just in general, I just don't want to go back and find all the pictures for that. I was trying to find a style I liked and I kind of combined these two. And that's how that happened. Indigo fail page. More glitch lore, I guess. And then we have an indigo sketch little old doodle of my old persona. There's Indigo and she's screaming at her boyfriend Cody. Some doodles got just an old art sketch right there and then I just covered it with new doodles and that is a stripper chicken. More old art. Oh my god what are those feet? I still can't draw feet well but wow. And then a newer sketch doodle thing. I really like splattering with my watercolors. I think it's fun. You're gonna definitely see more splattering in the sketchbook. And then I drew one of my old friends, OC is Lily. That hand, wow. I actually have a future drawing in here of someone doing this exact same thing. And you can see the improvement in that sort of area whenever that shows. Some marker and pen doodles and Crazy stick man doing some not good things to these little critters. Some more sketchy things. I know these two were references. And this was whenever I was auditioning for Susical the Musical way back when. And I wanted to be Maisie. So I drew Maisie. Fun fact, I actually didn't get Maisie. I got Gertrude this drawing of an elf and i put a little sticky note saying i didn't like it i know this whole page was just references i was just practicing stuff i don't know what this is but 
wasn't finishing it. Just wasn't gonna do that. Another doodle page, another reference. You will see Hello Kitty is periodically in here. I have a challenge, I have a fun challenge. If you guys can count how many little Hello Kitties you see, comment them down below and let me know how many you counted. I'm not gonna count them because that's too much effort, but it'd be cool if you did to see how many you saw. <laughs> More doodles, just filling up the page. I really like that. The eyeball and the flower expanding. I think that's cool. I really like eyeball art. I actually have a vivid memory with this one. Obviously it's an Eevee personified, but I remember I was invited to my friend's birthday party and there was like a party bus and I was drawing on it. I don't know if it was a party bus. Maybe it was a van. I don't know what it was, but some sort of vehicle. And I was drawing this on that. And I don't know why I was drawing in the middle of someone's birthday party, but I was, so. Just some more doodles. Don't flip this up. I'm not gonna listen to that silly sticky note. <gasps> How dare. And then a little cat playing a, a ukulele, I think. I remember drawing this at a wedding. It wasn't during the ceremony. It was just like when everyone was eating and stuff. But that's indigo. It was for someone's challenge. It was like a beach and your OC challenge. But I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh my gosh, we're getting into the good part of this sketchbook. I am in love with this drawing. This is probably one of my favorite drawings I've ever made. I love it so much. I love it so much. I love it so much. The color scheme is really well. It's all good, it's all grand. Very precious to me. This is the drawing I was talking about with the floating orb thingy. Cause this is indigo. She's got a little fish. I also love this one. This drawing is really cool. Love a lot of the newer, uh, newer drawings in here. I feel like the ones in my sketchbook that I have currently just aren't as good as the ones in here. And I don't know why that is. Sometimes that just happens. It's whatever, it's fine. A glitch. Being all emo. <laughs> Why do you care? Oh, yeah, I went back and I was like, I don't. <laughs> and then we have this one, which I also really love. Look at those splatters. I love those splatters. I also love snakes. I really want to get a pet snake eventually because they're really cool and I love them. I love snakes with all my heart. What do I even, what do I even say about this? What do I... There it is. This drawing was inspired by the weird core aesthetic because I thought it was cool. I also wanted to work more on backgrounds. I haven't been drawing that often. So looking back at all of my art is like, what, I drew this? No, I didn't. I can draw? Are you serious? Like when you don't draw for a while as an artist, and then you draw again, you're like, hold up, where did this skill come from? No way I just did that, you know? Another Eevee. I did not realize how many Eevees were in this sketchbook. She's the alpha, she's the leader, she's the one to trust. Yeah, those hands though, that's, that's all I have to say. My old persona. So real, hands are hard, but I've definitely improved. I would rather draw a hand than a foot or a shoe. That's just me. So maybe I should draw them more, but I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. More weird core inspired art. Little smiley face. I have no words. And it's Sarah Lynn from Bojack Horseman. I love Bojack Horseman. It's my comfort show. Sorry. <laughs> I love it. I was binge watching Bojack Horseman. So I drew Sarah Lynn. I feel like you shouldn't watch Bojack Horseman for too long, but I don't know. I just feel like it's not good, but I still did it. I just had it on mainly in the background. I don't know where I'm going with this. Wise words. That's a big head. Not bad though. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, mm, I guess. Wow. I don't know why I said wow, but <laughs> I drew this because I couldn't fall asleep. Look at those eye bags. Like, wow. They got their little teddy bear, though. That's important. Like, this is all the same person. I hope that was obvious. Old drawing of a person's OC cotton. Parker was running out. So I mainly use watercolor now. Some doodles. Oh my god, and you know the song that's like, oh, this is kitty. 
those are the lyrics. I want to have better handwriting, but I don't know how. Well, you see, it's quite simple. You just practice over and over and over again. That's all you got to do. Easier said than done. Because <laughs> my handwriting still isn't the way I want it to be. And I drew glitch again. Miss me? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not real. And then I drew Princess Peach on a separate piece of paper, but I cut it out and glued it in here. Some Among Us. Among Us? Among I. Glitch and Jolteon, little comic thingy. I don't like this drawing, but here it is. This was like a catch me meme with Glitch. It's actually up on my YouTube shorts where you can watch it. It's being motivational. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> More little sketches and doodles. That Minecraft pig knows what's up. He knows two plus two equals four. There's no doubt about it. Meow. Yeah. I, I love cats. I love them. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're just amazing. Little fellows to have around. Beautiful, yes. Someone wrote no. And I was like, who wrote that? But I was like, it was probably me and I don't remember. It was either me or someone else, who knows? I don't. Some more sketches and doodles and I wrote Prickly Alpaca because I saw them on YouTube and I wanted to write down their username so I remembered them. That is a lot of drool. Yikes! Did I think it was cool to add that much drool? Because it's not. It doesn't even look like drool, it looks like cough syrup. If it was blue. Figure studies, and I was up late at night, so I was saying I need to sleep. Beauty at its finest, I guess. This is the new beauty standard, guys. You better keep up. <laughs> Sus? Let's be honest here. That Among Us is the best thing in the sketchbook. This was a redraw of a character named Bloom, but I'm not gonna find the original drawing, because I don't want to. Some doodles. Oh my god, shoes? Still better than those other ones. Eyeballs. I also love this drawing. This is like just a human girl which has a bunny mask on. The inspiration for this dress on Pinterest. I love Pinterest so much. Old drawing, I remember this was from a how to draw anime book or manga or something. This was also from the how to draw anime or manga book. Although I made it a watermelon girl, which I know wasn't in the book. Some more sketches. Oh wait, some of these are like finished. Finished thing, sketches, drawings. There they are. This looks like Yuri, but I wasn't intending it to be Yuri, but it can be whoever you want. And then I was testing out Mo art style because I thought it was really cool. So I was experimenting with that there. Little thumbnail for a finished drawing you'll see soon. My OC cherry being all shy. <laughs> And then some more doodles and things. Thumbnail for a future drawing. Oh wait, this thumbnail is in a different sketchbook. Or this ID, this finished piece is in a different sketchbook. So I guess you won't see it. Or you can go to my Instagram because I posted it on there. Cherry and some random person. I don't remember what was going on in here. I was editing this video then I saw this and I wanted to mention that the character kind of looks like Cooking Mama. I don't enjoy this drawing. I just don't like the way her face is smushed in. I think this is from a how to draw book as well. Some more doodles, the Mo art style showing up periodically. Drawing of a sprinkles cupcake character. Didn't like her eyes, so I changed them and it looks Probably worse than that I did before. And there's the Mo art style finished illustration. I'm very proud. Proud? I am very proud of this one. I love pink and it's just very cool. I don't know how else to explain this. I'm, I'm just skipping these. I, they're old. I don't like them. Cinderella, old drawing. She's a little cat thing. This drawing, yippee, woohoo, yeah, I whoop. Yep, and we have this drawing. She got wings. She's winter festive. And my OC fern getting bullied. And that's the finished bully thing. I also love this drawing. Mo art style. I added a bunch of little, little things around it because I saw digital artists do their main drawing and then put images from the internet over it, like without actually drawing it. And I just wanted to draw it all out instead of 
obviously putting pictures over it. So that's what I did here. More Mo art style characters with knives. <laughs> that thing. Another Mo art style character with a knife. Yay. Can't tell, but it's a sketch of a dragon. Then I drew this drawing. It kind of symbolizes addiction or just whatever you want it to symbolize. But I really like it. The contrast is just very cool. Well, that's just pretty self-explanatory. I painted this. I think it's pretty cool. Paints are fun to use. I tried a different shading technique and coloring method. And then we have this sketch that I never finished. And I drew this funky girl with a bunch of Among Uses behind her. And she's very pink. You know, she's got pink armpit hair. If you have pink armpit hair, you have to be an Among Us character. I don't make the rules. I don't really know what to say about this, but I think it's cool. And I like it. Found this quote on Pinterest, and I drew what I thought it should look like. I also used these oil pastel pencil things, so it kind of rubbed off, which isn't good, but... You live and you learn. And then I drew a clicker from The Last of Us, also using those oil pastels. And literally transferred to the other page because of the oil pastels. Never finished this because look at all that stuff I'd have to color. This looks like a children's coloring book, kind of. What is going on with that cat? And then I did this for a draw it in your own style challenge. Who's that? Then I drew a monster. Wow. Do you want to get a pizza? No. That squirrel is on something. Guys, which squirrel are you? This one, number one, or squirrel number two? Personally, that's me. Never colored in the ladybug? Are you serious? Eyeball stuff. Yippee, woohoo, yeah. I don't know how to explain this. I just, I was listening to a lot of music that I don't know how to describe. I'll just put some of the songs up on the screen that I was listening to because I don't know how to say them. What what's she gonna do? What's she gonna do there? So I just drew a bunch of pink doodles. I like it. Hey, those are actually good shoes. I didn't even think about that. I drew some good shoes. That's pretty swifty. Swift? A Taylor Swift? Nifty. So basically, I drew a bunch of... Like, this is all me. Just like different phases of me there's lots of meaning behind this but i don't want to go into all that i have more pink in my hair now it's like this but blonde some purple pen doodles i drew a drawing with triangles and like inverted kind of inverted the colors in it just to try something she's got flowers coming out of her she's got rainbow hair she is frightened probably i would be frightened if Plants were coming out of me. That hand is way too long. And I feel like that one's too short. But I don't know. Just a critique. Some more doodles. This was for another Draw It In Your Own Style challenge. That's a really good hand. I don't know how to explain this. Pink <laughs> drawing. A blue drawing. I do not know how to explain my drawings. Your eyes will do the explaining. So this drawing I drew after watching the K through 12 Melanie Martinez film. And I was just listening to a lot of Melanie Martinez. So I was feeling very inspired. And that's how that happened. Some doodles. Yep. Autism creature among us. What is going on here? I don't like this drawing. Used some poses on Pinterest. Threw them all together with some good practice. A bunch of sketches, but okay, how about I pull up? Sometimes I just randomly say, okay, I'll pull up, because I'm talking about the song, the okay, I'll pull up pop out at the after party. And then I think of the capybara. I just think it's silly. Those hands are also good. I don't like the way I used to draw ears. I draw them more accurately now because of my piercing obsession. So I know about pierce or ear anatomy because of the obsession. I don't like, I don't, I don't know, it's a, it's a sketch. I guess I'll just, uh, wait. <laughs> I guess I'll just fall forever, little angel girl. I did that with nail polish. I remember when I was drawing it, it smelled so good. 
I, just, I love the smell of nail polish. Another, stop drawing and go to sleep. I wasn't being very responsible now, was I? I think this is a cool drawing too. I don't know why I made her purple. I felt like it. <laughs> what the heck? A bunch of doodle sketches, thingies, drawings, pink, yup. My handwriting looked so good on this page. It does not look that good now. Maybe if I tried it would look better, but um, mm. some Melanie Martinez lyrics. And I drew them. This is the care this is a character from a character creator. And I drew it. I really like this drawing too. I think the meaning behind it is cool. I don't feel like explaining the meaning. I want people to just interpret it the way they want to. Then we have a fairy girl, fairy elf girl. Wait, fairies have pointy ears some of the time. So it's just a fairy girl. Or it can be a fairy elf girl. Actually, it's whatever you want. It's a cyborg. No, it's not. Thumbnail sketch, eyeball. Whoa, where have I seen that before? Oh wait, it's my profile picture. At least as of right now it is. I painted a portrait of myself. Some Sharpie drawings, lots of little doodles there. These are the thumbnail sketches for the painting that I drew on my most current sketchbook right now. And then Mermaid started up, so I drew a mermaid. Some thumbnail sketches and just practices for this. Draw this in your own style that you will see soon. Another mermaid drawing. Wouldn't you believe it? It's another mermaid drawing. It's an octopus this time. This drawing is just weird, but it's cool, but it's weird. A bunch of little doodles everywhere. Oh my God, Furby. I love Furbies. They're so cool and they're all so creepy. Some more doodles. That frog is an interesting frog. More of one this is. Oh my God, it's Philip. Covering up these words, but these are the drawings. They're very interesting and silly. Some more little drawings. The baby in the hallway was just kind of an inside joke. A moment in time that was very funny in the moment. <laughs> Another mermaid drawing that I never finished. Mermaid drawing number 67. His wings took so long to draw. So long. So much time, so much patience, but I did it. One I'm still really proud of. I draw this in your own style in two different styles. It's also because I kind of draw in a bunch of different styles. More drawings and a nice little quote. Another mermaid drawing, another one. <laughs> and then this was a redraw of like multiple different redraws. You can find the original on my Instagram. And then some thumbnails. I love this mermaid drawing. Like I said, I love like eye things. And so I love it. It's really cool to me. Some sketches. You would never believe it, but it's another mermaid drawing. I feel like I already said that before. I don't know. I drew sketches of some of my OCs. Glitch. Icicle. Indigo. And Fern. I feel like I saw this quote somewhere. Probably Pinterest. And I drew it full sketch. And then the last page, which was a redraw of... Oops. And then the last page, which was a redraw of the first page. So you can see the improvement. And I don't have a back because it fell off. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was my sketchbook, lots of drawing. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a really big sketchbook. Probably the biggest I've ever filled, ever owned, honestly. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah.